Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Candy Grando Vita GVC D91 CBB. A few people have uh, watched the previous video where I just had a look at what went wrong with this machine. Apart from the fact that the, the door has been broken, the knob's been broken, and someone's been in at the element and tried to clean it but probably done more harm than good, I've taken the top off and uh, I think I might try and mount a motor in it. A washing machine motor, that is, to see if I can make it go faster. So I've lined it up there and, you know, that, that should work if I take the belt off the other motor and just loop it over this motor. Uh, build a little wooden bracket to hold it. Uh, it might just go. I've been testing it and I'll just give you a listen to what it sounds like now if I turn it on here. So there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the controller at all, it seems to work fine, it's heating up and it's turning. Sounds a bit juddery, I think the bearings might be gone on the rollers that run around this rim here. But I don't know, and I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think I have to take this fascia here off, a couple of screws, to get the front panel off, to get in at the motor. Because I don't want to chop the belt, what I want to do is set the motor at a level. I might have to drop it down a bit so that the, this belt that's on it, which is a little bit cracked and old looking, so that this belt can just ride up on this motor and uh, I don't need to take it completely apart to get the belt on and off. Although there may be a tensioning mechanism down there which might get in my way. But I'll just have a go and see what I can do. So as I get further into it, I think it's worth sharing with you what I've been doing to get in there and also what it looks like. And uh, so there's a couple of screws. There's a screw here, here, here and here. And then the door hinge has to come off. And then there's a screw on the top, I think, or here somewhere there, there maybe. Corresponding one over he here, maybe. I can't remember now. And two up underneath to get that fascia off. Just look at this like. So if this was to go on fire, look at how much length, like this is more than, I think the machine rotates this way. If this was to go on fire, it's not live I think, I haven't plugged it out, I've switched it off at the wall. I don't know what that is, a bit of rubber something. If I could just keep reaching in here I think and pulling this out, look at that, it's crazy. Crazy. So people suggested I try and get this machine to go on fire. That's all damp along here. I guess it, I had left it out in the rain for the last couple of weeks. It's just as I reach in there, it's just loads more. Oh, the dust is quite light as well. It's stuck up all, all up the side. There's a bit of an air vent or something, I think, at one block there. This is, this is a lot of lint. No. Yeah, I think it's coming out from this gap here. I said that before, I think there's a gap between that front plastic and that drum. I think that's what's happening. Now, how do I get this? I think I have to take this off next. A um, couple of screws, one there, one there, probably, one there, and one there. And then maybe, maybe I'll get this off and then we'll be in, hopefully. So I've taken off this plastic thing, and there are the rollers that it rides on. And the, the bearings, they're not great, but they're fine, I think. Um, I said there should be some kind of a felt thing in here. M maybe there should, but it's not there if, if there is supposed to be one. There's some kind of fibery thing going on there. Bit of a groove worn in here. Again, I don't know what that is. It might just be some kind of burnt on snots or something. But look at this, like it's basically riding on fluff. Look at that. Never seen anything like this. So I'm just presuming the motor is mushing away down below underneath all that. A bit of plastic that shouldn't be there. More fluff you know, down the side. Maybe not. Let's see, where are we going to? Is that the air intake down here? No, nope. maybe underneath it is. More fluff. I mean, you're really up to a carrier bag full here, which is more than 
as you usually see in a tumble dryer. I've checked the old Bosch one I used to use and it was fine. It just didn't have anything, you know, untoward going on. So this is kind of crazy. Now, how do I get into that motor at all? I don't think, I don't think I've approached it from the right direction. Is it in there? Don't know. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of fluff there. There's still quite a bit in around the machine, you know, like this stuff here. Crazy. So I've removed the drum, and basically to do that you take the back cover off, and then there's a screw on top and a screw on the bottom, and it just comes off. And how you line it up again is a different issue, I don't really know. And how I get this thing, this belt off here is another issue as well. What, what I could do is just drop this belt, I think and just leave it down there and not worry about it uh, for this for the purposes of this uh, video and because I think I'd have to take off this cover I don't know actually if it's that hard take off this cover and then yeah maybe it's not so bad I don't know how that's held on so if I take off this cover pull the belt off around the motor uh, there's a, around the fan that's in here that might do it and if it's off then is that money? no I thought there was money in there there's a lot of kind of brown fluff. I think that's bad. <laughs> I think that's bad news. Yeah, so if I take the belt off around the fan that's in here, then you just lift it out. I think that's where I'm stuck at at the moment. So we'll have a look and see. Well, I'll see how I can do it. So to get in here, it's not that bad actually if you want to change your belt and you knew how to do it. You take off this cover here, which was down on the front. Then you reach in and pull out this thing. Then you take off a 10 mil nut on the front of that fan, which is in there. Pull the fan blades out, this one. Then you can pull out this white thing. I'm sure it flips up or something. But I don't really, you don't really need to take it out any further because then you're in at the belt here. And you're getting somewhere then. You just flip that off like that. Wiggle, wiggle. Like that. And that's your belt. Just like that. And then you can put it all back together if you want it or you could just leave it because Oh, it doesn't sound good. Oh, it's just hitting off the back there. That's okay. Um, you could put it all back together, but again, I don't know if there's any point, so I'll just push some things back in and leave the rest of them as they are. That's that there. Okay, and we'll start. I'll reassemble the front and then move up to the top. Right, so I've got it all reassembled. I've got a piece of wood screwed in underneath each side just to get my spacing correct, and then I've got the motor mounted. Got it in a kind of a bit of like a. I'll show you what a similar piece. Got the motor mounted in a piece of wood with a bit of a hollow in it just to hold it on this side and then I've got a strap to hold it down on the other side and give it a bit of tension. I've got the motor hot wired. Let's have a look at the motor type. Um, WU126U50100 NIDEC up to 15,000 RPM. Let's see if it'll do that. I've got it plugged into a thing called the Variac, which uh, allows me to alter the voltage from 0 to 270 volts, so it should get up to 15,000. Well, maybe. It's got a load on it. Okay, I'll bring up the voltage. change the motor belt the belt jumped from over here to over here so I think I have this at the wrong angle or something I'm not really sure how to adjust it but I wonder if I let off the tension a bit here I don't think that's gonna help much 
it's not live, so that might, if I put a bit of a wedge under here, that might tilt it up a bit and it might get it back on track. We'll see if that works. So I've loosened the tension, put a bit of wood underneath it and tightened it up again and then put it back on here and hopefully it'll track correctly now. So let's see, get the power on. Let's bring up the power. Get a bit of slipping on that belt there. adjusted it so that it's just hanging on the edge of that but that's fine it doesn't really matter because it stayed on you could hear it bashing around and it seems to be tearing some plastic off there those white swipe pieces seem to be getting cut off that plastic front piece it's a bit of a funny one really because it serves no purpose whatsoever I could try throwing a brick at it in another video if you want to see that let me know um, it seems kind of silly to me but Different strokes, people like different things. I'm just bringing it around to see if it'll track on. I don't know what it's quite. Oh, caught myself there. I don't know why it's uh, insisting on going into the right hand side. It could be something to do with. Let's, let's, uh, let's turn it up again. No, it's still the one that's over there. matter because it is staying on as far as I'm concerned that's fine yeah what can we do with it throw a brick in it seems kind of traditional I'm not sure what would happen brick in a tumble dryer we know when they're going slow it's just really boring it seems to be flapping around a bit there just it is what it is all right what do you think tell me about it in the comments thanks for watching see you later